From the M2 Bradley to the BMP3, the infantry fighting vehicle has been an indispensable tool on the battlefield. These high-speed maneuverable vehicles are able to traverse rivers, operate in the face of weapons of mass destruction, and even nuclear warfare. Unlike armored personnel carriers, these vehicles can not only transport infantry, but also provide powerful fire support with rocket and cannon fire. In this video, we'll be taking a look at some of the most popular and interesting infantry fighting vehicles. So subscribe to our channel, sit back, and enjoy! Puma Puma is a new German development, considered one of the world's most armored infantry fighting vehicles. Depending on the purpose, you can use one of the three machine configurations. The most protected version of the Puma has more armor than the armor of the Soviet T-72 tank. From the front projection, it can withstand 120 and 125 mm tank shells. The machine also withstands a mine explosion with a charge equivalent to 10 kilograms of TNT. Particular attention has been given to the development of warning systems to alert drivers of potential dangers, thus increasing the survivability of the vehicle in both combat and patrol scenarios. There are more armored IFVs in the world than Puma, but they are under development, not put into mass production, and not adopted by any country in the world. In comparison, this instance is already mass produced and is in service with the Bundeswehr. Piranha 5 Piranha 5 is the latest and most protected armored vehicle of the Piranha family. It is regarded as an APC, but in terms of weight, level of protection, and weapon power, it can be considered an IFB on wheels. Piranha 5 has an all-welded steel armored hull with additional composite modular armor. The basic version of the armor offers protection from 14.5mm armor-piercing rounds and artillery shell fragments. Installing the full set of additional armor increases the protection to 25mm armor-piercing shells. The machine has a double V-shaped bottom, which protects well from the explosion of landmines and improvised explosive devices. It also withstands the explosion of an anti-tank mine under any of the wheels. Furthermore, it's possible to install the LEDS-150 active protection system, which significantly reduces the likelihood of being hit by guided anti-tank missiles and anti-tank rockets. Hunter The Singapore Armored Infantry Vehicle Hunter officially entered service in 2019. Behind its creation are Singaporean engineers who use several Western components. A remote-controlled turret with 30mm K44 Bushmaster II automatic cannon is installed here. Two launchers of guided anti-tank missiles are mounted outside. The crew consists of three people, and the vehicle can carry eight fully equipped troops. The Hunter Armoring is a modern infantry fighting vehicle IFV, that weighs 25 tons and is designed to provide protection against mine explosions. It is unclear what other features this armoring offers, but its weight and claim protection suggest that it is a highly secure vehicle. BMP-3 This machine was originally designed as a tank, but was turned into an IFV. Because of this, it has a number of design limitations and weaknesses that are not typical for this class of machines. The troop compartment turned out to be very cramped due to the rear engine. The motor has been shifted back to improve weight distribution and floating performance. The welded turrets and hull are made of aluminum alloy armor. The front part, reinforced with composite materials, provides protection against 30mm armor-piercing projectiles. The BMP-3 has absolutely enormous firepower in its class of vehicles. A 100mm cannon is installed here, paired with a 30mm automatic cannon. ZBD-08 The Chinese ZBD-08 is an improved version of the Soviet BMP-3. Although they look alike, the Chinese have thoughtfully redesigned the design of the machine. The engine was moved to the front, the volume of the troop compartment was increased, and the troop hatch became larger. A more modern fire control system and a sight have been installed. The ZBD-08 armor is no different from the BMP-3, but the Chinese version of the IFE surpasses the Russian counterpart in terms of firing efficiency. Also, ZBD-08 can be used to overcome water barriers without additional preparation. Kurganets 25 the Kurganets 25 is a next-generation infantry fighting vehicle, IFV being developed by Russia to replace the BMP-3 in its military. The first pre-series test vehicles were delivered in 2015, and the vehicle has since been undergoing factory tests and wasn't ready for mass production. 
The armor is made of aluminum alloy, reinforced with dynamic protection modules. According to the documents, Kurganets 25 is planned to be equipped with a system of active countermeasures against guided missiles. The remote control turret has a 30mm cannon and a 7.62mm machine gun. Outside two ATGM Cornets are installed. Kurganets 25 is an amphibious IFE that will be able to overcome water obstacles. M2A4 Bradley The M2A4 Bradley entered service with the US Army in 1981. Since then, it has undergone several major upgrades, culminating in the M2A3 Bradley, which is currently the most widely used IFB of the series. In 2022, one of the US Army's rapid reaction units was fully outfitted with the M2A4 Bradley. Bradley has a higher level of protection than other IFBs. The M2A4 Bradley comes with a new generation of explosive reactive armor. The M2A3 and M2A4 Bradley models can withstand a 30mm armor-piercing projectile in the front. The armored vehicle is designed to provide all-round protection from 14.5mm armor-piercing cartridges. In the near future, it will be equipped with active protection, which will improve its survivability when fired upon by guided missiles and anti-tank guided missiles ATGMs. The double man turret adopted a 25mm automatic cannon with two belt feeds and a 7.62mm machine gun. On the left side of the tower is a heavy anti-tank missile system, Tau-2. CV-90 The basic version of the combat vehicle was adopted by the Swedish Army in 1993. Its latest modifications are capable of withstanding detonation on charges equivalent to 10 kilograms of TNT. It features a 40mm automatic cannon converted from an anti-aircraft gun that can effectively destroy enemy APCs and IFVs, as well as pose a great threat to the old Soviet T-55 and T-62 tanks. To remain as inconspicuous as possible, the CV-90 has been equipped with heat-absorbing filters to protect it from detection by televisions and thermal cameras. K-21 Production of the South Korean K-21 IFV began in 2008, with a total of 900 vehicles planned. At half the cost of the American M2 Bradley, the K-21 boasts a comparable level of armor, a more powerful engine, and the capability to traverse water obstacles. The composition of the K-21 multi-layer armor is kept secret, but it is assumed that it consists of layers of fiberglass, ceramics, and aluminum alloy, all of which are designed to be as light as possible without sacrificing strength. Additionally, dynamic protection, which is used on the Korean main battle tank K-2 Black Panther, can be installed to further enhance their armor's protective capabilities. There is an advanced fire control system, a combat control system, an onboard information system, a navigation system, and a friend folk combat vehicle identification system. Typically, such advanced systems could only be found in the newest main battle tanks. Which IFV do you consider the most effective? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.